This is a full room interview with John Karabi. This clip has never been published before. To listen to more from our interviews with John, click the links below. Also, John just released a brand new track. A link to that song can also be found in the description. Last time I talked to you, you were kind of in the know on uh, Mick Mars and his uh, solo album. And so nothing really has come out. And then I saw something maybe a couple months ago that I can't even remember what it was, but it made me think, oh shit, I guess he's still working on it. Now, I've been told that Mick has finished the record. He actually signed a record deal. Um, my only thing is everybody keeps asking about those two songs that I sang with him. And I'm like, you're asking the wrong guy. Like, I don't know if he's using them or not. Um, I've periodically talked to Vince. Like, we wish each other our birthdays are maybe 10 days apart. So I'll call him, you know, I'll be like, hey, happy birthday, you old bastard. And he'll write the same to me. And, um, or, you know, we'll see something, a funny joke or meme and send it back and forth to each other. But I haven't asked him. Hey, dude, did you use those songs for the record? I'll find out when the record comes out. I'm excited. I'm as excited as anybody else to hear what he does. Were you closest to Mick in the band? He seemed like, uh, I know he said before, that's like his favorite Motley album is the 94. Well, Mick, and I, Mick and I, to be honest with you, Mick moved to Nashville, I think, in maybe 2015, 14 or 15. And, uh, he finally called me and we just discussed a bunch of sh shit motley and he was under the impression that i said this or i did that i was under the impression that he did this and he said that once we figured out that neither one of us said what the other thought uh mick and i've been great with each other i think at the time when i was in the band i was probably maybe just a smidget more close to tommy because Tommy and I toured together. We were in the same bus together. It was just me and Tommy in a bus. Um, and what, Mick and Nikki in, a, in the other? Yes, and only because Tommy and I were the only drinkers in the band. Like, we were, we were the ones that were, we were more apt to go out to a nightclub together or whatever. But it was funny. I had a weird relationship with each guy in the band. And Nikki and I were from the okay, we're going to write lyrics together. And Nicky was awesome. He was amazing to me when I first joined. But we we spent a lot of time together creating shit. Um, Tommy and I also spent a lot of time creating stuff, but just hanging out. And then I went through a divorce, and I was going to get an apartment or a condo or whatever, and and Mick goes, dude, I got a fucking guest house. Just stay at my place. So I wound up living with Mick. So I had a little bit of a separate thing with each guy. Um, and, but it was funny. I was kind of like a sounding board for all three of them. So when I was with Mick, I would go, oh, da, 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 da. and Mick and hit that tone that he has in his voice. I would say something about something crazy Tommy or Nikki did. And Mick would go, well, now you know what I've dealt with for the last 15 years with those boneheads. And then if I was talking to Tommy, he would talk about Mick and Nikki. And then when I was with Nikki, Nikki would have things to say about Tommy and Mick and, you know, things that they were doing right and wrong and whatever. So I was just kind of floating, but I think Tommy more, um, just a little bit more, Tommy and I had a shit ton of fun together. We toured together. We drank together. You know, there was times that I went over, I called it the black hole. I would go over to Tommy's at noon just to say, hey, and I would, you know, I'd get home the next morning at 10 a.m. because we just sit there drinking and listening to music. So I think I was a little closer to Tommy than the other guys, but not, not by, not a lot. You know what I mean? Right. Any standout moments on that tour bus with him? Dude, life on a tour bus with Tommy is just one continuous standout moment. You, you, you have to have figured out by now that Tommy's like, literally, he's like, well, now he's like 50. But he's still, he's a fucking eight-year-old trapped in a 50-year-old body. He does these videos with his wife now, and I just... Hilarious. Yeah, and I'm, I like just sit there and I piss myself laugh, and I go, God, like, that guy will... And I don't mean this as a slag. I'm just saying, like, he is eternally... He will eternally be energy, eight-year-old, just curious about everything. I'm only going around once, so I'm going to cram as much as I can. 
into this life and I got to appreciate it. You know what I mean? Sure. Um, I, I, I love Tommy. That's the only thing that I miss about how things turned out with us is that I kind of more than anything felt like I, I felt like I more than anything lost a couple of cool friends. Oh, 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 o